I'll get you to uh, state your name and where you, where you farm, where you're from. Hey, LTS Grain Farms, uh, Kamsak, Larry Shabadowski. Larry and Tilly run this operation. Uh, we farm approximately 12 to 14,000, depends on the year, changes kind of every year. We grow mostly wheat, canola, some oats, uh, an odd time flax, but that's kind of our rotation. Can you, if you can think back to when you when you started, any any surprises on some of the fields that you got mapped um, in regards to soil variability and stuff like oh, that? Oh, very much so, very much so. We didn't even on on a quarter that, that's basically uh, level or flat. Uh, it was it was pretty hard to get that around your head. There was so many different zones, like soil zones. Uh, you know, till they mapped it, eh? it's yeah, it's quite quite the thing. Yes, we did. Yes. Specific examples of an oat field where you were able to push. A uh, we, like yes, we did. We had uh, we grew a Morgan oat. It's a it's a fairly strong straw oat uh, that we have had some 200 bushel 200 bushel yields out of that Morgan oats on their variable rate. Awesome. Okay. Um, can you think of a, in general just a, a year or a good crop where you were really impressed with the yield? That came well, I think uh, I, I I think the first year that we uh, when we when we just got into this when we just variable rated the the nitrogen, we noticed the uh, the standability. Uh, at that time, we were growing crops that were a little taller, and they would just they would just hold up a little better even in the low areas. And after that, that kind of that just kind of turned the tide for us. Uh, in regards to the technology. What is your setup, and, and have you had any uh, hiccups with uh, adopting variable rate in regards to, to the controllers and the monitors? And, and how has Farmers Edge helped you out on that side of things? Actually, we use a we use a Borgo system with the Zinx uh, monitor. Uh, we run our anhydrous through the John Deere uh, uh, monitor and our drives through the Zinx, and virtually just an odd hiccup, but the boys have been. They've been right here all the time to help us, so it's been real good. Uh, well, and think of one thing you're going to tell someone who is asking you about your experience with variable rate. What would you tell them? Well, I think we we got to look down the road, uh, uh, guys, uh, to the environment. Uh, I I think it's going to be very important down the road. They're going they're going to want to know how much we put on, where it's going to wind up. Uh, so we just got our feet wet sooner and we're in it right now because I, I think it's coming. I think that's, that's going to be the wave of the future. I appreciate you doing this, Larry. Well, it's going to cost Simon a little bit of juice or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, <laughs>